All right, geometry, 10-1, circles and circumference. So we're just going to start with a basic circle here. Let's label some common parts. Uh, one of our most common parts we know is the distance, uh, the distance across that goes through the center. That is the diameter. Then we have the distance from the center to the edge of the circle, and that's going to be called the radius. And then maybe something a little bit new to us. We have seen it before, but um, I don't like that drawing. Let's get one more out of there. If I go from there to there, if I go from the outside to the other, any distance on the other outside, this is called, from edge to edge, this is called a chord, C-H-O-R-D. And so we look at that, the radius would not be a chord, the diameter would be a chord. So if I'm looking at this particular example, I can see two chords. Let's say they were labeled a O, B, C, D, and E, and then my center was F. Two of the chords could be A, C, and D, E, and then I would label that as circle F. Really the only thing we have to do at this point is, is look at a couple of formulas. We've got our area. And we also have our circumference. Remember that area is just, if we had to cover the distance, let's say with a piece of carpet or with, um, with some tile, that's the amount that we would need. And then circumference is the actual distance around. It is the perimeter. Okay, so circumference can be found. Let's look at circumference first. Circumference can be found using pi times the diameter or 2 times pi times the radius. And then that leaves our formula for area to be pi times radius squared. Okay, so basic points of the circle and then the formulas for finding the area and circumference. Again, something we we went over in class, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. So just a little over three minutes. Chapter 10, Section 1, Circles and Circumference.